And so for now, what I want to do is I'm going to go into the Create tab. And rather than create geometry, I'm going to create a shape. And under the shapes, we have a lot of new options and things that we haven't quite talked about yet. But one of the first ones I'm going to talk about right now is the Line Tool. And what the Line Tool literally does is if we just left click, 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 this will allow us to draw out a very simple line, which is called an editable spline object. And so if we go back into the modifier attributes down here, you'll see that we have vertices, segments, and splines. And the main one that we're looking at is vertices. And so after we've created this line, you'll notice that we now have the ability to sort of manipulate that shape to be a little bit more robust and kind of give us a little bit more specifics um, of that specific shape that we wanted to create. Now we will be talking about lines and splines quite a bit, but for now the basic principles of what I want to do is go into our right view and I'm going to go into line and I'm going to make sure that my initial creation type is set to corner and corner. And so what I want to do is I'm just going to quickly block in sort of a flag shape over here on the left hand side just so I can kind of see it and get the scale about right and then I'll make adjustments to it. Now if I hold down the shift key that'll snap it so that I can drag perfectly straight up and down. If you let go of the shift key you can sort of free drag it but with shift selected we can just drag down left click left click and then left click and then from here I'll just kind of freely just click 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 just to kind of get like a flat you know edge to it. I'll go ahead and cap that off and then from here if we use the hotkey of one this will switch us to vertex mode I can just sort of drag out and create this sort of an odd you know flag shape that we want. There, it doesn't really need to be too perfect you know if you wanted to give it a little bit of uh, damage to it like it's a little bit messed up that's fine and obviously the scale looks a bit huge right now if we kind of drag it to compare it so we could probably scale it down slightly, quickly toggle back and forth between our, our vertex mode using the hotkey of one. Just kind of block in a basic shape for now. Now back in perspective view, I'm just going to kind of eyeball that until it kind of falls right around onto that hinge. Now for right now, it's just a simple shape. It's not an actual piece of 3D geometry. And so what we want to do is we want to convert this to 3D by let's go ahead and drag these up just a bit more by simply grabbing the object making sure that we have our line selected if we right click convert to edible poly this will take that shape and it'll turn it into an actual flattened plane so now at least we have a little bit of geometry that we can make a little bit more adjustments to and this is going to work just like a traditional uh, plane or any other static mesh that we've created and so we've got our vertices our edges etc and that's a quick way to turn that you know, shape that's a little bit easier to model rather than trying to go in and, and create a box or, or a plane and kind of cutting it and carving it. We could just quickly throw down a shape and then convert it to an edible poly. Now since this is a plane, we do want to make sure that we do have thickness on it because if you remember, if we right click and click on object properties, we, if we turn to back face colon, you remember that planes only face one direction and so over here we can see right through the object so we'll go to polygon mode grab the polygon right click extrude drag out just a real real small amount of thickness to it and then we'll make sure that we cap the back side of it right click cap and there we go and so just to get it kind of uniform we'll control a again apply our material and there we go now that's looking pretty good. Now there's a few more tools I want to use to kind of give this a little bit more of a realistic shape.